Hear ye, hear ye, here comes the judge. It is the Yogi Judge, Judge Dawson. And I'm back for another wonderful time of podcasting. You know, some people say it's a wonderful time of the year, but I say it's a wonderful time for podcasting because I have a message that I hope will bring you some information or inspiration. Thank you so much for tuning into this podcast today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about change. You know, we always talk about change. We talk about a new year. We talk about resolutions. But there are some keys to change that we must recognize in order for it to be successful. Now, you know, there's a quote that has been going around for a long time. And that quote says that basically, if you don't like your situation, you have to change it. And if you can't change your situation, then you should change your attitude toward the situation. And I'll tell you that that is very interesting. And in fact, it's very true. But in some situations, you have to change it up a little bit. So let, let's explore that. Let's break that down with this short period of time that I have with you today. Change, you know, change is going to happen naturally. Seasons come, seasons go. We're going to get older. We're going to get a little bit more gray on the uh, hairline or wherever that may be. But the fact of the matter is we have a hard time as humans adjusting to change. And if you listen to that quote I mentioned in the very beginning, oftentimes it's our attitude toward change that keeps us from accepting the inevitable. So in order to embrace change, in order to move to the level where you need to be or where you know you can be, we first have to adjust the attitude toward change. And that first adjustment is the acceptance of change. Things will change. Sometimes they'll change for the better. Sometimes they'll change for the worse. But as long as we know right off the bat that things are going to change, we start to accept that. Then we're open to the variables that happens that's going to happen in our lives. So we have to accept the change is a constant. There's nothing you can do about it. That's the first step. Recognizing that change is a constant. So we have to change our attitude toward it. And then the second one is we have to analyze real quick this situation that is changing or the situation that I want to change, is it something that I can control? So if you're, let's say, 15 years old and you live home with your parents and you just don't like their rules, maybe that's something you can't control right now. So you have to adjust your attitude toward that. You have to say, okay, you know what? My goal in the next few years is to be independent, get on my own. That way I can move out. So that's one scenario. Adjusting your attitude because you can't control the situation. And then the next one is to determine, hey, if this is something that I can control, I need to change my attitude about the situation. So, for instance, if you are in a challenging or let's just call it out a bad relationship, some of you toil and toil and toil trying to change the relationship, trying to change someone's mindset, trying to get that guy or that girl to change what they're doing. But at some point. You have to change your attitude toward that change. And you have two options. One is you can say, you know what? I'm going to accept this person for the way they are and who they are. And I'm not even going to ask or look for that change that I so desperately wanted. That's one way. The other thing that you can do is you can say, you know what? I'm changing my attitude toward the desire to be in this specific situation. So for all my life, I wanted to be in this relationship for all my life. I wanted him or her to understand me, to love me, to trust me, whatever it is. Maybe now, after all these years of disappointment, you change your attitude toward your desire in regard to that relationship. So, again, let me put it really clearly. When you are looking at a situation that is about to change or that needs to change, you have to adjust your attitude if you cannot change it. And you have two adjustments. One adjustment is to stop longing for the change. The other adjustment is to stop longing for the situation. That way you automatically change. You get it? Either you stop longing for the change and accept the person the way they are or accept the situation the way it is. Or you stop longing for the relationship so that you change. So I no longer want to be at this job. So that's the attitude change. You don't need the job to change. You just need to no longer want to be there. I no longer want to be in this relationship. 
So you don't need him or her to start doing the right thing because you've waited and waited and waited. You need to adjust your longing to be with that person who has not fulfilled your desires. So you get it? Change is hard, but it's easy. If you take those two steps, those two steps, verse, line, and chorus involves your attitude. How are you going to adjust your attitude? Are you going to say, hey, I'm going to accept this situation for what it is? Or are you going to say, I'm going to change my outlook, my desire, so that I'm the one that's changing? But either way, when you start working on your attitude, that's when the change will occur. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for just giving me these few moments of your time. You know, I don't hold you long. I just try to be of service and be of value to you. So hopefully this little short message has given you some type of value. And if you know someone who needs to hear it, let's share it. Share the information. Have a dialogue. Hey, I may not know all the answers, but maybe we can spark dialogue so that we can all grow. Thank you so much for tuning in to Here Comes the Judge. It's Judge Dawson. As I always say until we meet again, namaste.